everybody, my name is Katie, and today I got my Wet n Wild Flights of Fancy collection in the mail. Um, this box with everything in it cost $35, um, but it is a pretty big box. It's got some great stuff in it. Um, pretty much everything in the collection is $5 or less. I'm pretty sure the blushes are either $2.99 or $3.99 a piece as well as the eyeliners. I think the most expensive thing is probably the primer water. Um, I will put um, links and prices and everything to order in the description box below in case you want all of that information. I do have a lot of it on my face currently because I did a open the box and try on. So if you're interested to see what's on my face, just keep watching. Okay, so let's get started. Started. My face is blank looking because I have on foundation and I've set it with powder but I haven't done anything else yet because I'm gonna make this a try on. So with I did get the entire Flights of Fancy box. So excited and then of course it came with the pen, which came outside the box, inside the mailing box. And then I bought the extra pink eyeliner that doesn't come in the box so that I have all three colors of the eyeliner to swatch for you guys. So we're just gonna open up, open this up. Maybe. And do some swatches and put some stuff on my face. This is what it looks like when it comes in the box. There are three blushes, four glosses, two liners, the primer water spray, a lip scrub, and then three eyeshadow quads. <sighs> so excited about this. Okay, so let's start with the lip scrub. Um, there are two of the lip scrubs. I didn't get the entire Tar collection, but I have clothes. Um, there is one other flavor of the lip gloss in, I think it's like an orange. This one is Pecker Up, which is kind of a watermelon. That smells exactly like watermelon candy. That smells delicious. Um, ooh, and it's kind of a weird, like, hard feeling texture that is definitely like a straight on, like, scrub. It is all sugar, but it's definitely going to be exfoliating. So. I'm excited to try that. Probably do that tonight. Okay. Ooh, I got that everywhere. And then the next thing we'll pull out is, no, I'll leave that for last. Um, let's do, let's go in order of where I'm gonna put it on my face. So we'll do the blushes next. Um, the first one, which is the lightest pink shade, is Don't Flutter Yourself. It is just a very pretty light pink shade. Okay, so let's swatch. Oh, that's pretty. That's just very light and shimmery. If you have a darker skin tone, you might be able to use that as like a really pretty pink highlight. Um, but all of them have a hummingbird embossed into them, which is really cute. That's kind of the 
theme is hummingbirds. The next one is the, it's kind of a peachy shade. It almost looks, looks like there it looks orange, but it's really kind of a, I don't know. I want to say it's going to be almost like more of a peachy. We'll find out, but it's called Hummingbird Hype. Oh, that's pretty. It's hard to tell against my skin tone, but you can see it there. Again, that might be shiny enough to be a highlight, which the amount of shine that is on these is great. If you don't have a lot of texture, these may be a problem for me. We'll see. And then the last one is Dare to Soar, which is this like hardcore, like pink, full on like magenta. And it's gorgeous. But if it's any sort of pigmented, I don't know that I'll be able to use this one. But I like that they did that because it opens it up for like, like if you have a darker skin tone, I don't know that you're gonna wanna use that really light pink as a blush. So it's kind of nice that they did that because in the, in the box there's a little bit of something for everybody. That's what it looks like. Oh, that's pretty. That is so pretty though. So, there's those. And then, um, let's see. Let's just put those on real quest. I think that's what I wanna do. I'm gonna try this light pink and see what that looks like. This is Don't Flutter Yourself. This is a brush I got off of Amazon and it's my favorite blush brush that I have. Like, I just don't like really densely packed blush brushes. And a lot of the ones that I get are really densely packed and this one is not. And I feel like it applies the best and I like that it's angled and it just, the whole set was like $10. And this is my favorite brush out of it. And it's one of my favorite brushes out of all of my brushes. Some of the rest of the brushes in this set were crap, but this one was worth buying the whole set. Oh yeah, that, can you guys see that? Not really. That is shimmery. <laughs> well, you know. these are so shimmery and like there's color there depending on what angle you're seeing it at like when I look in the mirror I can see color here but here what's facing the light just looks like shimmer so that's interesting it is very pretty I just can't I don't know I love shimmery things but right here I can't, I've got to have matte. I have way too much texture. So, interesting. I want to try this dark pink one too, just to see what it looks like on me. So this is going to be Dare to Soar, and I'm going to look real weird with two different blushes on, but, you know, that's how I roll. Just trying everything out. kind of like that. I 
I kind of really like that dark color. Oh, it looks really crazy in my phone. But in the mirror, it looks really pretty. And I don't feel like it has as much reflect in it, if that makes sense. Like, it's got a little bit of a shimmer to it, but I don't feel like it's as, like, blindingly shimmery as the other pink. So, if you want more of a matte one, definitely go with the darker pink. I kind of want to see what this would look like, the lighter pink, as, like, a highlight over top of this. So, I'm going to grab just a little... This is from Ella. Uh, SL Miss Glam. I think I got it in like an Ipsy or Birch. No, Boxy Charm. One of those two. I like this brush a lot for highlight. Sometimes bangs are really annoying. Okay, so on my fair skin tone, I don't think it's gonna be a good highlight. It's just got too much pink to it. But it is a nice little blush topper kind of back in here. I don't know. We'll see, I'll play with it some more. These are just kind of first impressions. But I kind of really like this blush. So, there's those. And then, so eyes will be next. And there are three eyeshadow quads in here. The first is the most neutral, and it is Stop Ruffling My Feathers. Um, it does not anywhere like list shades for each shade, but they do have kind of stamped into them. This one says transition, brow bone, crease, and then eyelid. And they all three have that. So, and then in all of them, it looks like this is matte and the rest of them are shimmery of some sort. So, let's do some swatches. This is the transition shade. Um, this is the brow bone highlight. This is the crease color. Oh, that's pretty. And then this is the lid color. Uh, the lid color's not really... There we go, it's a little bit buildable, that's better. Um, so those are pretty. And then I'm gonna run out of room on my hand here in a second. And then the next one is Flock Party. This is what it looks like. This is the transition shade, which is basically the same as my skin tone. So, and then this is the brow bone highlight which looks very similar to the other one in the pan they are a little bit different one though this one's a little bit more goldy it's really hard for you guys to see these on my skin tone though like let's see if i can build that up a little bit that is very much exactly like my skin tone too this is the crease color it's kind of a goldy color that one's showing up that's pretty and then this is the lid color
So that one's a little bit bolder, but still kind of along the neutral and berry. And then the last one is called Asta La Costa Baby. And it's got a teal and a purple in it. I'm excited about these. Which is this gorgeous teal. Oh, that's pretty. That is so pretty. Okay, so. Um, let's do, I'm gonna start out with this darker transition shade out of this one, I think. Since it's kind of the only one that really shows up on my skin tone. Make sure my brush is kind of clean. These are pretty powdery. I'm getting a decent amount of kickback. But that is not a deal breaker for me as long as I don't get a ton of fallout. And they're nice and pigmented. Which this is. This is nice. Can you see that? And I'm just going to go in. I probably shouldn't put this all over my lid, but I am because I didn't think about it. And I'm going to use, I'm going to try to use a lot of these colors. Okay, that went on nicely. And then I think, <laughs> oh, that is not the darkest transition shade. I'm gonna use this kind of just a little bit like in a smaller area. It's a little bit more of a darker, cooler toned neutral than this one. So I'm gonna go in with it as well. And that is showing up on top of that other color. That's nice. Probably should get a, should have gone with a slightly smaller brush, but it'll be okay. Okay, and then I think I'm gonna go in with hmm. Yeah, I'm just gonna do what this one says to do. I'm gonna go into my outer corner and the crease a little bit to deepen it up with this purple. So, I'm gonna have to switch brushes for that. Clean Luxie brush. That's pretty. And it took a little bit of work to build it up, but that's not bad. 
for the price that these little quads are and they'll be so nice like just to grab one and travel with because they're small but they've got like what you need to you know do a simple look look pretty even okay and then I'm gonna do it and I'm just gonna go in with that blue and so I'm gonna need I'm gonna go in with my finger because when I do the inner corner color especially if it's um, metallic like that I always just use my finger it's just easier and I can blend out the edges a little bit with a brush It's so pretty. Okay, and then I'm just gonna go in with that Luxie brush that I had, if I can find it. It's got a little bit of purple on it. And just kind of blend out those edges a little bit. I like the way that's looking. And then just to try them out and use them a little bit, I know it's gonna look a little crazy, but I'm all about color. I'm gonna take the two lid shades in these palettes, the two um, pinks, and put them on my lower lash line. So I've got a little smudger brush that I got in BoxyCharm. a little bit on my pants leg and then going with the lighter pink to do the inner oh I just did that I had shadow on my finger and I just stuck it my owner cut my inner corner like a dingbat you know it's okay I'll work with it. Since I don't have anything out here that I can use to fix it right now. Down on. Okay, and then 
I'm going to take a different brush and I'm gonna go in with the brow bone highlight out of this one and do a brow bone And then I think I want to put this one, this brow bone highlight out of this one in my inner corners. Well, oh, that's pretty. That is such a pretty color. Okay. I didn't bring any mascara out here, you guys. Okay, so there's those. Those are the three eyeshadow quads. I'm impressed. I mean, that was nice. So the next eye product is, oh, those are good, I'm a nurse. Um, the eyeliners. There are three colors. There are two that come in the big box if you get the big box. This one is Gilded Wings, which is supposed to be like a gold. This one is Winged and Wild, which is a green. And then I also got the third one separately, which is You Are My Wingman. Okay, I think I want to use... Oh, I don't even know. Let's swatch them and see. Okay, so this is the gold one. Oh, um, let's do them in here. Oh, that is really yellow. That comes off. I mean, it's really reflective and reflective and pretty, but it comes off pretty yellow. Which is, I don't know how I feel about yellow. And then this is the You Are My Wingman. This is the pink one. This does not have any reflect to it. And it's just a nice little like peachy pink. And then this is the Winged and Wild, which is green. Also does not have any reflect. <gasps> oh, instantly my favorite. Look at this green. It's almost like a forest green. That is so pretty. Oh, that's what I'm using. Well, I really feel like one of the other ones would pop more against the shadow that I have on though. Mm. I don't know, we'll start with the green and see where we get. Mirror, ding dong, mirror. Every time. I look crazy with the two different blushes on. Hmm. I think I'm gonna put this on the lower lash line. I just don't feel like it's showing up against those dark shadows. So I think we're going to put the pink up there. That's cute. Okay. I really like that color. And then let's try the pink out on the upper lash line.
Oh my gosh, you guys, I completely suck at liner. I really, really do. I need you to be aware of this. Oh, that burns if you get it in your eye. Just so you know. A lot of things burn if you get them in your eye, though. Oh, gosh. Hold on. Ooh. They are not waterproof liners <laughs> in case you can't see where my eye just started watering that green is kind of gone I was gonna try to put the gold in my water line but I'm thinking that's a bad plan now but I kind of want to play with it just to see how it looks on the eye Oh my gosh, I have gotten that green where I've gotten it on my lashes. It's all over the place, which is my bad because I always get liquid liner on my lashes. But holy cow. So these are a little bit of a runny formula. Gold does not look that bad on the eye. It's a little bit yellow tinted, but it like looks a little golder on the eye than it does um, just on my hand. So that's good. I don't know. That's that's the eye look. That's what I'm gonna go with. It's a little crazy looking, but you know. So there's the three liners, and then the last thing in the collection is the glosses. Um. There might be one color of gloss that didn't come in this box, um, but I think this might be all of the glosses that came in the box. There are four in the box. Um, the lightest one is, what shade are you? Fly Gal, which is just a nice light pink. Looks a little bit darker in my camera, but it's a really light pink. Oh gosh, I'm trying to get these open. And I love how they did the caps. It's so cute. It's different, it's nice and springy. Oh, these smell weird. They're not like fruity smelling or anything. Um so. And they're a little bit pigmented, but they're a little bit sheer. It's kind of half and half, so that's not bad. And then the next lightest one, or this might actually be the lightest one, they're about close. They're just different colors. Um, this one is featherless, and it's more of kind of a peachy pink. Whereas the other one's kind of like a baby pink. Swatching gloss on the inside of my hand while I'm trying to do stuff probably isn't the best plan. Oh 
that's pretty. Okay, so there's the next one, kind of a peachy color in comparison. And then the next one is kind of an orange color. This is Pout of Paradise. I will probably never wear this color. We'll see what it looks like. I almost didn't buy the big box just because I'm not a fan of glosses in general. Oh my. Yeah, girlfriend is not wearing this color. But if you have a um, warm skin tone, especially if you're deeper like skinned, oh my gosh. That's a really pretty color, honestly. But on me, no. But I know, like, I can think of people who that would look amazing on. And then the last one is this, like, berry color. This is called Shut the Pluck Up. And I love that. I'm not into some of the like risque names, but some of that, like when you, like that's just funny. It's not actually risque, it's just like kind of making fun of the risque and I like it. And then, oh, it's almost like a grapey raspberry kind of berry color. This one is not very like, there it goes, that's better. That's the way I was swatching it. And then that's it. So that's all four of the glosses that I have. I think I'm gonna put this one on my lips and see how it feels. Be prepared, be prepared for terrible lip stuff application, as usual. Okay, and there's what this one looks like on the lips. This is a nice formula. It's creamy and soft and it's not sticky at all. This is one of the least sticky glosses that I've put on my face. I like that a lot. I may actually end up wearing some of these. I don't like glosses as a general rule because I tend to get them all over my face because I don't know what I do. I don't know if it's the way I talk or what. They normally end up like, you know, giving me Ronald McDonald mouth at some point. But I like this color and I love this gloss formula. This has any sort of lasting power. I'm a huge fan. So that's awesome, that's fantastic. And then, I uh, should have done this before the gloss, I will. The last thing is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Primer Water Spray. It is a primer water spray that I forgot that it was a primer water spray and put on all my finish and all that. And it does say online that you can use it as a finishing spray and to refresh your makeup throughout the day. So that's how we're gonna use it today. Plus, with my textured, oily skin and whatnot, I much prefer mattifying and pore reducing over moisturizing. So, this is a weird looking. Let's see how we. Um, I don't know. I got. A, I feel like I got a few droplets on my arm. Yeah, I'm seeing some droplets, so it's not the best mister for after your makeup is on your face.
You do have to get it kind of close to your face for it to hit your face too. I got a lot of that on the table and not very much on my face. But it didn't like mess up my makeup or anything any more than what I did putting my makeup on. So, so this is the finished look. So far, first impression wise, I really, really like this collection. Um, staying power wise, I can't speak to you yet because like I said, I just now put it on my face for the first time. But as far as color selection and how easily it goes on, I do like them. The only thing I don't like is how shimmery the blushes are, especially this one, which would probably be my best shade, but is way shimmery. It's looking a little bit less shimmery now that I've had it on for a minute, but I don't know, we'll see. I'll play around with um, all of this collection some and let you guys know um, thoughts and feelings with some wear times and things. Um, but yeah, I, I really like, if you are not a lip gloss fan, but you'd like something lighter for the summer, I love this formula as far as like the way it's feeling on my lips right now. So like I said, I will try these out some more and give you guys like an update probably next week sometime. Um, but I really do like this collection. I will try out the lip scrub as well and let you know how I feel about that. But yeah, so that's that for now. You guys have a great day and I'll see you later.